Guten Abend meine Liebchen, Zoe Two Dots here and today we are versing versus network for our weekly WBE battle. So versus hailing in from Germany. How you doing dude? I hope that these are some fun battles for both of us. And as always, if you guys would like to check out versus side of the battle, links will be in the description for his channel and for everyone that I versed this week. So here's the main issue for me with the team of verses his durant can delete my team essentially if his durant doesn't get like killed in the first two turns essentially it can obliterate my team me and my front office guy we're just kind of like look there's no way he doesn't bring durant if he doesn't i think we should be okay but there is honestly no reason for him to not bring it it, it literally it, for whatever like it just, it just has some some spooky stuff I don't know the full like depth and context to it. I've just been informed by people far more knowledgeable than me uh, on VGC that it will obliterate me. So basically this could be a very, very quick match. This could be two very quick matches. The strat essentially is to go rolling in with Togedemaru and Shiftry and just max Shiftry straight away and start slapping. Like just start trying to obliterate that Durant. We need to fake out whatever is next to Durant as well, just so that it can't double into my Shiftry and, you know, make all these kind of shenanigans. Like we really need to focus on the Durant. That's the game plan. Um, if like statistically, it's gonna somehow change from what we've that that minimal prep that you know I've kind of told you right now. But let me show you the team. We've made some really weird spreads and stats and like EVs and stuff for the whole team. It's gonna be a very very unusual kind of like balance of team. But for I guess the the simple bits and pieces are uh, moves: iron defense, body press, protect, and flamethrower on the Torkoal. Heat wave, solar blade, rock slide, and bounce on the shift tree. So a nice nice spread of moves. Got some coverage. Sligu is gonna have life dew, acid spray, mud shot, and muddy water. So this thing is kind of gonna be a thick little healer. This is like our our little cleric coming on into the match if it gets to make an appearance, <laughs> and it's just gonna be like healing for days, trying to soak up hits and doing its little best to help the team out potentially as well kind of like affecting other you know dropping dropping some defense and things like that um on the other team Togo tomorrow pretty classic i would say for Togo tomorrow fake out iron head zing zap and reflect uh, i haven't had a chance to use a move like reflect before so kind of like as you can see here puts up some shieldy kind of shields like it's not a proper protect but it, it reduces the damage that goes through those shields. Uh, and because we've given Togedemaru the item light clay, that's going to make those reflects last longer. So it's going to make the, the shield, like the little reflecty shields last for longer if we can get them set up. <laughs> Next up, she's back is going to be Gastrodon. Our Gastrodon is back. Weather ball, recover, earth power, and counter. Counter is back. Who knows if it's going to make another play this week. It's just kind of like one of our okay options to have on it as a move. Weather ball we kind of need for a bit of different coverage depending on uh, if we get Torko with the sun out we might need the weather ball to still do with Durant if we're really that really that far back in the you know if we still haven't killed it by then but again we have to play and see how we go. And then lastly the thicky. Our one true love the apple. Our thick little apple uh, Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, Draco Media, and Body Press. So again, Apple is going to be trying to tank a lot of damage this week, bring, being its big, beautiful, thick self as best that it can. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Again, the whole the whole hurdle is killing the Durant. I'm saying Durant along right like a lot right now. So then watch it not somehow just not be there. It it should be there. We will see. We will see. In terms of what we're generally, you know, up against though for versus team is going to be Inteleon, Raichu, Durant, Kingler, Flareon, Gothitel, Sandslash, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Machamp, and Alolan Executor. So a lot of nicey spicy that he can pick from. We will see what the top six is going to be. Again, I will, I will eat my hat if Durant isn't in there. And I'm going to have to make it up on the go. I sadly, again, haven't had time to proper practice in-game this week for these battles. So we're going off the, off the, off the brain space. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, Versus has been found. Ooh, okay, let's go. That's the correct team. Uh, how do I, okay, how do I say uh, good luck, have fun in German? Um, uh, Viel Glück. Hasse or Habe? Habe Spaß, I think. 
I know Veal Gluk is good luck, so Veal Gluk, good luck versus... Uh, good luck to me, actually. I'm gonna need the luck. I feel like you've had a nice little bit of time to prepare, so I'm looking forward to this match regardless. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's see. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? <laughs> you can't see this because my head's in the way. The Durant isn't there. The Durant isn't there. Oh my god. Okay. Incin. Oh no. We don't want the drift. We don't want the Joy-Con drift right now. Incineroar. Uh, Inteleon. Incineroar, Inteleon, Grimmsnarl, Raichu, Flareon, Executor. Okay. Dude. Okay, this is fine. Um, I think we possibly still run the same lead, but I think we can probably get a bit more cheeky uh, on the round two. So we might just try and suss him out and see what he's got. Oh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like every time I say something's gonna happen, I get cursed. So let's just see how this goes. I think though, on on the second round, depending how this goes, my Apple can be really, really good for a lot of stuff against his team, but we need like the egg to be dead. So we need the, sorry, no, oh, I should take in just Apple, damn it. No, Apple kills as long as Grimmsnarl's dead. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go, let's not think too hard about it. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Oh my God, he didn't have the, mm. wits, I'm having words with you after this, good sir. Yo, okay, we both got our little electricies and our Grimmies, so he's probably gonna, Oh, he found my clay. He found my items. Don't touch me. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay. And I think his... His Raichu is probably faster than me, I think. I might... We go the fake out on... I think... I feel like Grimmsnarl will probably go big boy here straight away, but we might... I might just go for some like unexpected shenanigans straight off the bat, hey. Oh, nah, I should have gone into the Grim. I need to just go into the Grim. The Grim's the bigger issue here. That was silly. That was like an absolute just misclick on my part. Okay, what have I got? I've got the, I've got my gastro. I've got my Torkoal. I can bring Torkoal out as well to bring out the sun to make shift even faster if we need. He's going big boy Grim. Okay. Yeah, I should have just clicked. I shouldn't have clicked on the right here. That was just silly. Um, I should have just gone into the Grim. The Grim. Yeah, he's just, he's just faster than mine, yeah. Almost could have just swapped out uh, the Torkoal straight away. Yeah, that was kind of useless. I mean, not useless, it's going to do a bit of damage to Raichu, but his Grimmsnarl is probably going to obliterate me. Bye-bye, little Togi. <laughs> Poor little Togi. I mean, look, at least... At least Togi kind of took the bait there, in a way. It's not great. It's not great. Okay, so we've kind of made the Torkoal to take a few max moves as well. It's going to bring the sun out, which I think is the better option. Electric on the Gastro is not going to be a fun... Oh, sorry, there's only grass... That... Sorry, the Power Whip on the Gastro from his Grim Snarl is going to hurt our Gastro. So I think the better choice here is the Torkoal. Get the sun out. Ooh, the Grimmy though. I honestly haven't had much practice battling Grim Snarls and things like that. I think we go, we start bulking up the torque. So I'm going to go iron defense on the torque because he's going to be slow. I think we need to start bulking him up a little bit. And 
And you can have Intellion on the back. So if I get the grassy terrain set up, then my Gastro will have... Hmm. Well, the Airstream at least will boost us for the speed. This is so weird. Cause I feel like I never know what's the right choice in terms of um, boosting... Incineroar. Okay, okay, okay. Kitty cats in the back. A cheeky attack drop. I like that cheeky swap. It's probably the, the worst target to put it into out of the two then. Oh, if I'd just gone for another max rock, that would have been... That would have hurt that cat, I think. Yikes. So here's the issue though, I'm not going to have my, my little slig in here to help heal him for a while now. He's got his berry though. He does have his berry. Sorry, I don't even have slig in this match. I'm not going to have gastro in. Like, yeah, look. I should have picked a way different s s combo here. This is my big goof. I should have reset the plan entirely and just shut up about the Durant. <laughs> just gone in, with, gone in with a whole different plan. Okay... We can body press the cat though. That's kind of like the whole the whole thing. If we've got the iron defense up, we can body press the cat. I would like to iron defense once more to get myself even stronger, but I think at this point, I kind of my gastro can deal with Incineroar too. I know this would be super effective into the cat, but I think I just need to see if I can keep chipping down the Grimmy. Because it's going to be an absolute pest for me. God, that does like nothing, hey. I should just be yeah, doubling into the other one. Or boosting myself with my max moves. Use your brain, Zoe. Come on. This is probably going to Oko. Well, not Oko. I was already kind of down, but this is going to kill me. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, dang, that would be nice to have one more iron defense up, hey. So close. If he goes down to the storm, that's going to be probably my best bet at this stage. And now, sadly, the weather ball is going to be like... Oh, the weather ball would be ground because of the sandstorm, right? Is that how that works? Or is it because of the sun is still out? Oh. <laughs> when there's multiple effects in play, that's when I start getting a little bit more confused. Um, I might protect on the torque and let the sandstorm hopefully knock him down one. And uh, I feel like the sandstorm can maybe just kill him. Do we rely on that though? Possibly. I think we might. We can always counter. <laughs> uh, I mean, we actually we can counter. We can counter because I haven't been hit yet. Hopefully, the sand. I mean, the sandstorm will take down the the cat. This spirit break. I don't even know what that move does. <laughs> oh gosh. Snarl, we good. If he power whips into me though, I'm gonna be dead on the gastro. I mean, he can't. He already attacked the thingy. But now I can't counter. Like a thousand percent I can't counter. I don't know if I can recover. Because... He'll go first. That Grim is thick. I mean, thick thighs save lives, as you can see by Grim Snarl's motto in life. 
And the egg. And the exec in the back. Okay. Goodness gracious. I wonder if I can get away with another iron defense or if that's just not even going to help at this point. I feel like I would like to get another bit up, but I just don't know how much damage they're going to do to me with what they've got. I need to double into the Grim and just get- I should have doubled into the Grim way earlier. What is Spirit? Oh, I could have. I could have. Okay. It's going to drop my special attack. Okay. Oh, leave storm. <laughs> Eat your little berry, buddy. Eat your berry. That wasn't a very good berry. What would that berry even do? That berry like a minty or something. Having some Tic Tacs. <laughs> oh, poor little gastro. Oh, poor little dude. We got the Grim down. Okay. The Grim can be killed. Big Grim though, bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. Oh my god, my poor little talk. Okay, I think formulating a plan for the next match, we really need some like Sligu talk action to just be healing up shenanigans. I think that's definitely needed. Hi Raichu, how you doing buddy? What's up? Do I just get a kill on the Raichu just to get the kill for the stat? Like, honestly. Protect. I might just be an absolute tool and protect and see if the sandstorm takes down the right ship. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. This might be just like time wasting, but um, hey, look, if I can kill one more of his things and pad my stats with a sandstorm kill. <laughs> okay, I need to reformulate. Okay. Do we have for a double protect? <laughs> no. Oh, I thought I would still protect from the sandstorm. That's annoying. I mean, he's just gonna like double attack me. I mean, I'm dead. I'm dead here. Like, there's no way. I could just YOLO for the double protect. Because I'm gonna go last anyway. I'm just gonna pretend to try and double. Well, not pretend. I'm gonna try and double protect, see if I can sandstorm kill him. It failed. That's all good. Okay, let's start thinking for the next match. He's just gonna hit me with one thing. Okay, GG's, dude. I need to get better at adaptability when we prep for one thing. And I every week I'm like, I'm just going to make sure in case we don't prep for that. Okay. Oh, okay. I think. I think, I think. I think we need to put Apple in the back. Do we go maybe lead Torkoal Shiftry so the sun's out? Shiftry's faster, but if he goes Incineroar again, it's going to be a big issue. He's got a lot of Fiery Boys, so I think that might not be the best play for me. With the Fiery Boys, with Shiftry might just not be a goer. Oh gosh. Need some wonky leads though. Maybe, this is going to be super weird, but maybe Togi Gastro. He fakes me out though again, it's just going to be like GG's again. Hmm... Slig. I'm gonna. This is gonna be like the, possibly the weirdest little combo, but 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 this might be super stupid. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. The Grim is such a such a dense lad. Hey, holy dooly! This could be like really really bad. We've like changed up everything. But I think. I think going same same, I'm just gonna get wiped. Uh, I think I just go for some really weird shenanigans here and try my darndest to improvise a little bit. I would like to apologize in advance for not practicing harder for this week. Grim style on right you, yeah. Why change what's not broken, right? Right. Torkoal and Sliggy. So my Sliggy as well has got a thing where if you hit uh, Slig. You drop your defense, sort of. I uh, drop your speed. Sun's out, gun's out. I think, honestly, first round, I'm going to try and just start setting up myself to be uh, safe. Because he's going to fake one of me out. So I'm going to just straight up protect, talk, and then go. Um... 
gonna which one's he gonna fake out, do we reckon? He's probably gonna fake out me. Sliggy. Might try and drop the special defense. This might not play off, but we'll see. Maybe I should have just life dude straight into the talk, because he's probably gonna go straight for the talk as well with his Grimmy. Again, this is all just kind of like experimenting, uh, experimenting the anime. This is this is like throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks because we didn't prep it, we didn't practice it sort of vibe. So he's gonna have to kind of yolo it live. <laughs> Tune in next week for yolo live. Can she does not die? <laughs> okay, they yeah they went double into the. Talky. Okay, cool. Protect takes a bit of that, which is nice. It was a crit as well, holy dooly. Special defense is going to get boosted, and I'm going to drop it back down with a little bit of uh, acid spray. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's going to drop it back down. Okay. My biggest issue here is just waiting long enough for the Grim Snarl to not be out of, um... Like, waiting long enough for the, for the Grim Snarl to be, like, back to small. <laughs> like, I don't... I think I have a... Ch you know, I, we've seen that I can kill it if it's... Don't. That's rude. That's rude. That's rude. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The fling stuff. Oh, nah. This is... That was silly. I should have just gone big boy straight on the talk hall. That's dumb. Now it's not the time to be experimenting. Cheeky with the double flinch as well with the fake out and then just having like, well, if I can't fake out, then I can do this. It's like, okay. Oh. I need to wait for the Grim to be dead for Apple to make an appearance. This, this might be a, an Apple carrying in the last half with a Max, honestly. Potentially. Potentially. Holy dooly. Do I just start recovering and life viewing just to be an absolute pest? Or do I risk the counter? I actually don't know what the better play is here. Right, she goes out. Kitty cat comes back in. How you doing? You're going to do that whole like intimidate me sort of vibe. I'm not intimidated. My Pokemon may be intimidated, but I will I will lead them through this to victory. <laughs> oh gosh. Dude, Grim Snarl is just unstoppable. I'm just going to see myself out. Thank you very much. Holy moly, this is not good for me. Not good for me. Damn. And a waste of the move there on a... Uh... Well, look. YOLO, Apple's coming in. I mean, I'm gonna have to get big. Holy dooly.
I'm gonna be like Joy-Con drift, so I apologize for that. I was just like trying not to like scream it. <laughs> oh my god, poor Apple. Oh, this is like atrocious on my behalf. Good lordy. Yeah, the whole the whole thing with Apple, Grim Snarl needed to be dead. Grim Snarl was not dead. I think I changed it up way too much in the second round here. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I can't use counter here because one hit will... Oh, I'm pretty sure like I'm just going to die. Regardless. I mean, Apple didn't get to max, so I might as well max the gastro, I guess. What was that move that goes like priority before... I mean, I get, okay, look, Gastro's gone big. What is that move from the Grim Snarl? That was really cool. It goes priority before even G-maxing. So my Apple didn't even get to max. That was crazy. Very smooth. I like it. This is never the intention for Gastro to go big, but hey. When you have a dairy intolerance, it's always big gastro energy in this household, so... Let's see how he goes. <laughs> Go! Go, little buddy! Come on! Come on! <coughs> Go, gastro. <laughs> yeah, here comes the Raichu back in to just, like, wreck my day or something, right? Or the, uh, Executor or something with grassy moves. Oh my gosh. Right you. Well. <laughs> Rip. Ay ay ay. I mean, if we just again, we could big boy protect cuz whatever he's going to do is going to hurt a lot regardless. Oh, this is honestly just chip away the chip away the musical. Um Honestly. Honestly, this is this this is uh this is stalling.com power brought to you by Zoe Two Dots. Yeah, there we go. There he goes. Holy dooly dude. GG's, I scuffed that so hard on the second match. I made the worst picks. And that is not to take away from Versus's fantastic plays. That was played like super clean on his part and super messy on my part. <laughs> oh my god. Dankeschön to Versus. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the games. I really want to, like, I almost kind of want to verse you again, like, when we're at the end of this season. Like, I want I want to have another go because that Grim Snell is crazy. And I think if we weren't like mentally thinking so hard about like Durant, I want to know how I would have prepped. Again, danke, danke, danke. Thank you so, so much versus uh, links as always will be in the description if you want to check out his perspective or anything that versus does on their channel as well. There's only a few weeks left of the WBE and at the end, I'm going to do a big comparison as well of how but I have come how much I've learned from week one to the final week. I feel like this week might have been a, a not a step back, but I definitely this is like the uh, the the what's the analogy I'm looking for? This is like the 100% confirmed. You can't not practice. Um, not making excuses. It is Thursday, so it is a bit earlier than we normally do our battles and stuff like that. I'm not going to complain though. I'm I'm going to make it easy for for both partners. If someone can't play on the weekend or have more time, that's A-OK -okay by me. I want I want to be flexible and be a good little eggy. But that, I think, hammers home for me that I really need to. Like, I cannot skip practice. I cannot, you know, have... I can have all the team ready and know all the moves and all that kind of jazz. But if I don't just have a couple, at least a couple of practice rounds in there to just visually see how much damage I'm doing, that kind of uh, visual learning for me is really, really massive. So look out next week whoever I'm versing, because I'm going to be studying the tomes. 
Oh my god, I can't believe the Durant didn't come though. That's so funny. As always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.